I've been in the tourism industry for over 20 years as a private sector person and also consulting for NZAID and AusAid as far as tourism projects are concerned. And I was headhunted by some hotel association to come in and start the um, MPO project. Firstly, I have an airline background. I was in the airline industry for about uh, 15 years. I uh, managed a small airline in the Caribbean. And uh, I left this about 15 years ago and started my own travel agency. We started the Earth Walkers with um, want to give something back to the local community and uh, we've continued that work with WHL and by working with WHL we have managed to uh, reach out to more people so uh, with WHL we reach a much wider audience. Well, being local is the best thing. Being local, you know, you know your destination the best. Um, I think that tagline for WHL is the most is most appropriate. We are local, or, or we are lo your local connection. Um, the great thing about this is that you have the ability to tap into a resource. Today, 75. At the end of this year, over 250 entrepreneurs small, medium enterprises that are completely and totally focused on growing your business just like you. We just wanted to um, move our bookings through WHL because we thought it's a good innovative service and um, we are looking for more and more uh, operators who share the same values, accommodation providers, and hopefully we can network in with those locally. Um, now, what hotel link? Uh, has massive, massive strengths uh, by having local MPOs in the different destinations. Yeah, I think according to all of the, the surveys that we have seen, um, there is a growing market of independent travelers who are very keen on sustainability, environmental protection issues, um, cultural preservation, and what have you. And this is a necessity for us now really focus on sustainability, whereas before all we wanted was the tourists to come enjoy our facilities and our people and then left their footprints, which were not which are not necessarily the best thing that could happen for us. Um, here in Simrip we work very closely with uh, the Sankum Centre for Children and uh, they perform uh, Apsara dances and traditional Khmer dances and they also have different projects such as um, metal workshops and silk labs. We cooperate with uh, the Angkor Hospital for Children and uh, we take our guests to the countryside to uh, let them see other things but the temples and uh, we've experienced that guests who are going and doing other things than just the temples, they, they really appreciate that. Sustainable tourism is a very broad topic but it, one of the things that makes it so um, great that it's broad is that an MPO um, can really make it their own. For instance, it could be about um, ecology, it could be about the environment, or it could be about maintaining the cultural aesthetics of your um, community. For any potential um, individual who is looking forward to or is intending to be an MPO with WHL, one of the best things that I've found is the network, being able to connect with so many people you know, on a global basis and being able to exchange ideas, how to improve our services. Yeah, I think we, we've gotten the opportunity to learn off each other. That's one of the, the brilliant things that I've found with WHL. I would say to anyone interested in becoming a marketplace operator or NPO for WHL, needs to understand first off that you're not just becoming a part of a, um, a booking system or a lead generation system. Um, it's not just about inventory and what you're giving to the traveler. It's a full, absolute um, business model. What I would tell uh, any potential MPO out there, if I could get in, <laughs> you can also get in. I mean, I knew nothing about the industry. Um, I cannot quite say my financial resources was significant, it was just out of my own savings. 
that um, I, I, I got into this. It's really, do you have the will, you know, do you really have the will to, to, to get in? Do you, um, you, you need to have to want it bad enough and you have to be able to um, sort of sit tight. Mm -hmm.